His Highness Sheikh Nasser Mohammed Al Ahmed Al Subah inaugurated the Astronomical Museum of the world famous astronomer Dr. Saleh Al Ajari, which is located at the Kuwait Science Club. The museum was a dream come true for 93 year old Dr. Al Ajari, who dedicated his life to astronomy. Here is more on this report by Salim Al Kindari. Under the support and attendance of His Highness former Prime Minister Sheikh Nasser Mohammed Al Ahmed Al Subah and the attendance of Minister of Information and Minister of States for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Sabah Al Salim Al Mahmoud Al Sabah and other official delegates, the dedicated astronomy museum for the astronomer Dr. Saleh Al Ujjeri was officially opened. Well, today we are uh, very happy and honored uh, to have Dr. Saleh Al Ujjeri uh, uh, exhibition to be open and uh, this is an honor for the Kuwait Science Club to have him and uh, to have the event under His Highness the uh, uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Nasser Mohammed Al Sabah and uh, this is one of the uh, most important opportunities that we get because of uh, the event of uh, astronomy generally is, is one of the events that is uh, not widely spread but at the same time is very much uh, interest uh, it is a very much interesting subject for the kids and therefore we do get a lot of kids coming in during the whole year and one of the ways to explain to them uh, by applied science how to uh, understand astronomy in an easier way. This is one of the things that we hope we can achieve and our proudness also extend to the uh, people who have done the exhibition itself because it has been done by the hands of uh, young uh, Kuwaiti uh, who are members in the Kuwait Science Club and uh, who love uh, astronomy generally and to have something that they have done with their hands and, and to have the achievement of what we have seen just now is, is something that let's, yani, let's let us uh, stand and, and be proud of what can be done by the hands of uh, the local Kuwaitis and uh, obviously the, uh, the different items that we have here has been brought up from different uh, locations in, in the world uh, we have uh, different uh, materials, different tools that has been used during the old years that are available in display uh, here in the exhibition. And we could not achieve this without the uh, members of the astronomy because uh, they have brought them from different locations from around the world and, and to have them displayed here in Kuwait and, and to be seen and, and touched is, is something wonderful. His Highness Sheikh Nasser Mohammed Al Sabah praised the researcher Al Ujjeri for his contribution and said that Al Ujjeri is one of the loyal sons of Kuwait who have managed with passion to serve Kuwait. Uh, the, uh, the grand opening today it's about the Museum of Al Ujjeri. Uh, the museum, this, it's uh, like a, a gift from the young people in Nadi Al Ilmi or the Science Club uh, for Al Ajari and for his history. Because we think that guy or that person, he, he needs more from us and we have to give him more because he gave us a really, really big history and he was from the first astronomy in the world. Uh, today we are uh, going to open um, the Al Ujjeri uh, uh, Museum. And uh, the goal of this, uh, of this museum is uh, to remind the people of uh, the biggest uh, scientist of astronomy in the Middle East, Dr. Saleh al -Jiri. remind the people of, uh, of him and uh, telling them that we can do uh, a lot of uh, things here and we will show them a lot of uh, uh, magical things uh, here in this museum. For his part, Dr. Saleh al ajari conveyed his pride in the museum, which deals with the fields of astronomy and history. al ajari expressed his gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Nasser al-Muhammad for sponsoring the museum, which was a dream come true for him, and also thanked all of those who contributed in achieving his dream. al ajari Astronomy Museum is a dream come true. He's been waiting for this museum to come to reality and it's a gift from Kuwait and all of those who worked with him. 
from Kuwait Scientific Club. This is Salim Kandiri reporting for the English News.